the last extension of an entire species was the decision of fate. But now, it will be the decision of the most intelligent species on earth, which will wipe out the other species one by one. We humans have pushed our limits so much that one day we will be, we might end up living on Mars or Moon, but the poor brown pelican will not be able to even fly from one beach to the other. Yes, fellow Toastmasters, I am talking today about the worst petroleum disaster in the history of humans, that is British Petroleum oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. On the unfortunate date of 22nd April, some 66 kilometers away from Louisiana, uh, Louisiana seashore, there was a floating oil well, mobile offshore drilling unit, as we say. On that oil well, British Petroleum engineers started drilling an exploratory well. Their quest of, for oil did not satisfy it, and they reached at such a level where high pressure methane coming out with the oil caused an explosion on the oil rig. After burning for three days, that oil well sank, leaving a 1500 meter deep open mouth of the well, spitting out hundreds of thousands of barrels of oil. I'm just trying to give a picture out of some data. Just imagine the extent of damage. That oil well is spewing out 60,000 barrels of oil per day. No reaction? We, I think we are all comfortable with the liter and three rupees hike per liter in petrol. So I should make it you know, more comfortable. One barrel of oil consists of 160 liters. Now imagine 60,000 of such barrels are coming out of that oil well. And just imagine how much of how much oil have been pushed into the sea in the last hundred days. It is still coming out. Right now. <clears throat> it was so difficult to measure the flow of the oil that various agencies came up with the different data. British Petroleum initially said that only thousand barrels of uh, oil is coming out. Then Oceanic Administration of US tell told uh, that. It, the number is 5,000 barrels. But on 15th June, the latest calculation suggested that this number is 60,000. Now imagine map of Bangalore from Magadi Road to uh, Whitefield and from Yelanka to Electron City. This figure has the area of 750 square kilometers. But the BP oil has already spread in the area of Wapping. 10,000 square kilometers. That means 13, more than 13 Indian cities like Bangalore submerged in the oil. 400 kilometers of sea lines, shores, have been deserted from fishing, swimming, or any activity. Experts also say that 40% of this gush which is coming out of the well contains only methane which is getting dissolved in, in the sea. <coughs> It is not like that BP, Petrol, BP is not doing anything. All their efforts of curbing this thing, stopping the spill, is going in vain. On 2nd June, they sent three, uh, not three, six remotely operated vehicles to the epicenter of the spill, which came empty-handed, failed against the fury of nature. In the month of May itself, they, uh, they used three very high-tech techniques, methods to stop the spill. One 25 ton of a dome-shaped cap went there to, to stop the spill, to, to, to seal that mouth of the well, but it failed. Very, very high-tech and very sophisticated top-kill procedure. They, it, it also looked like just a small science project in front of the 6,000 psi of the pressure of the oil. There is a huge environmental impact on that. <clears throat> Tell me, what is 15,000? 15, 15,000 paise, small amount. 15,000 rupees, considerable amount. 
but 15,000 different kind of animals and plants. How big is this number? More than 15,000 kind species have been endangered because of this spill, including brown pelican, spoonbill, and endangered Ridley turtle. Thousands of these animals and animals and birds have been found dead on the seashore. 12,000 people have volunteered in the cleanup activity. Florida alone took the hit of $3 billion of damage or loss in its tourism uh, industry. Until when the innocent animals of this world have to bear the brunt of the greed of human beings. Government and public agencies, they are, they are trying their level best in stopping that spill or in preventing it to happen in the future. But is this enough? Even we can send our engineering solutions to the website of VP. They have the customer care. Really, you can send your engineering solution to this problem. But is this enough? Is this enough? Is this what we can do the most? No. It is us who are the driving force of the greed of such companies. It is us who push them to, to such limits where they go and cause such kind of disaster. It is us who can save our planet. It is us who have to take the pledge today that we will reduce our dependency on the, pla on, on the oil. This will only save our planet from going into another ice age. Thank you very much.